2K Sports and the PGA Tour. Proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Travellers Championship is about to begin. We're back at Cromwell, Connecticut for the TPC River Highlands course. Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam and Beamer, take us through the opener. Uh, par four down the hill with the tee shot and second shot will go back up the hill. There's really not much out there. To be fair, Luke, it's a fairly bland opening hole. There is some pretty heavy duty rough on the right and left that you really don't want any part of. If you want to take driver, you can hit it way down there in the flat and just have a very simple pitch shot up the hill for your second. But I think most players will lay it back, find the fairway, find the green. If you get a birdie, great. No harm in making four. I know I can't wait. Let's get back down to the coverage. Second shot here on the first. Going with the eight iron here. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. Yeah, a quality shot that. This putt coming up is for birdie. Get in the hole. Oh. Hello. Welcome to the course. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. Currently one under for the day. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Second shot on the second. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back-to-back -back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Well, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? Yeah, this is sitting up pretty good in that first cut. I think uh, might not be too much trouble here. Yeah, well played. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. Ouch, that hurts. An opportunity to make their par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Currently a couple under for the round. And moving down the leaderboard as well. The fourth hole at TPC River Highlands certainly asks for a longer shot, Rich. Danger here is leaving your tee shot out to the right in the trees and the bunker. If you hit it down the left-hand side, expect a much longer second shot. Three wins already this season. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Yep, that shot safely on the green. He's already made a few birdies today. And this is another good look. This one's tracking. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And that will take him to three under. He's currently in a share of 11th place.
Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Terrific approach and a chance for a birdie here on the fifth. 11 feet left to the hole. This one's dialed in. Ooh. He's got a harp out here. Let's see if he can make it. Okay, let's head to the next. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Well, this should be unpredictable. Well, Rich, in the thick stuff here, not a good spot to be. Good option. Take your medicine and try and get it up and down from there. This shot from around the 200-yard marker. Three strokes off the lead. Opting for the hybrid, I think. That's some good golf right there. Well, an important part here in terms of the tournament. A chance to move inside the top ten. Thought that had a chance. Well hold. Let's move on. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. This shot from the first cut of rough. Going with the 9-iron, nine I think. Well, that's beautifully judged. Any time you can make these putts, they'll certainly add up at the end of the day. Right on eight feet. I like the look of this. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. Oh, here he comes into the top ten with a bolt. He's currently tied for sixth. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Oh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Well, that's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. Left yourself an opportunity. Birdie at the last. This for another. And this putt is to move into the top five. That's inside the range. If you can make this one. It's for par. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Now three strokes back after that hole. It's time to begin this powerful hole.
Now well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. From around 140 yards here. Only a few shots off the pace. Choosing the 9-iron here. That's a good looking shot there. This putt from around 18 feet. This is a good chance. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And that puts him into the top five for the tournament. All right, Rich, we've made the turn now into the final nine. What are your thoughts so far? One back, nine to go, Luke. This is getting interesting. You've arrived at a par four. Well, there's no doubt they'd have some positive vibes coming off that birdie. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Well, this should be unpredictable. Don't know what you're going to get from the golfing gods here. Sitting at five under for the day. Currently tied for fifth place. Ah, that one's heading out to the right. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. He has this putt to save his par. Job done. Let's head to the next. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine nine. Well played, mate. John, have you got a read on this one? I'd say about 23 feet to the cup. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Good putt, that. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. a bit out of shape currently minus five time for fifth well a little off the target with that one distance control nearly impossible coming out of this rough 13 feet to the cup Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Hey, nice looking line. Ooh, right by the hole. This next putt is for bogey. Looks good off the blade. That's a bogey, but not a bad putt. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Oh, well struck. 
This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Opting for the five wood. And here we are with the third shot. Just three back from the leader. That's a high quality recovery shot. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. Always good to lead the bounce back category. That's a good stat. And with that, he'll move to five under par. He's currently tied for seventh. I tell you what, inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, things are definitely heating up. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Good looking shot this. Always nice when you're playing to the green from an elevated position. Going with the five iron here. Terrific shot and a chance for Birdie coming up here at the 14th. A fair bit on the line here. Spot the top five. And that's for Birdie. Well hold. And that will move him to six under par. He finds himself currently tied for fifth. Well, Rich, as we approach the closing holes here at TPC River Highlands, there are some significant shots to hit. And here at 15, it's certainly one of them. The tee shot is most definitely an important shot. If you hit a little bit too far left, water scary close to the left-hand side. Out to the right is no good. Length isn't nearly as important as how straight you can drive it. All in all, a very exciting short par four. Love this hole. Quality shot, that one. School card filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Looking really good, this one. That's disappointing. I tell you what, I... Watch out. This guy's going to be on full tilt here shortly. And that moves them to minus six for the tournament. The final par three at TPC River Highlands certainly brings a lot of elements into play. Multiple tiers on this green. If you find the right tier, you have a good Bernie opportunity. But if you hit a wayward shot, both right, left, long, or let's face it, short, you're in a bad spot. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Not taking enough club to get it there. Okay, phase one complete. Uh, You've got to make a good putt here. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Putt is underway. Wow, that's classy. Good save from there. Absolutely. In the bunker, off the tee. Getting that one, that is a Brucey bonus. Currently at six under par overall. Well, this lake that is a real feature here in the closing holes of TPC River Highlands comes into play also off the tee at 17. The most intimidating shot on the golf course, the tee shot here at 17. Bail left, you could find the bunkers. And if you bail right, you better bring your waders. Playing from around 110 yards out. Only two shots off the pace. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And that will take him to seven under. Nicely played, moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap, gotta like it. The finishing hole at TPC River Highlands has gone through a few adjustments over the last handful of years, and it's also seen a very significant moment in the history of the PGA Tour.
Plenty of fantastic moments here. Tee shot goes back up the hill, over a rise, semi-blind tee shot, find the fairway, and you're going to have an excellent look at the green and a possibility of making birdie. It was the site of the lowest ever round recorded on the PGA Tour, a 58 if you don't mind. Should find the green here. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for birdie at the last. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. This one has eyes for the hole. Remember, putting's a finesse game. Well, this is an important putt. Is it a must make? It is a must make, and I'm excited to see what they can produce. And with it, that concludes his event. And as this event concludes, he'll take home a share of third spot. Top three finish, that is a good show. And you know, obviously didn't play well enough to get to uh, the victory circle, but still, you got a lot of good things headed your way, and that's not including the big paycheck, but still some good golf to build on heading into the next tournament. It'll be interesting to see how this helps them moving forward. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Helvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.